as I go on, I find that I have less and less to talk about um, because things really become simpler. And looking for a meaningful life seems to be not so much about adding new things, finding something to add to basic life, but it really more about removing distractions. So a lot of things that fill our minds and fill our thoughts, fill our time, fill up our energy, a lot of these things are simply not necessary and they take us away from really enjoying the best things in life. The best things in life seem to be very simple. And so really I've been focusing on simply removing things rather than adding anything. The point where I don't even have anything to talk about, you know. So uh, just maybe simplifying too far, but here I am in the park in downtown Toronto, Queen's Park, and um, you can see it's a beautiful day uh, right near the summer solstice, the middle of the day. And it, it makes me think about the different seasons. Uh, this is a particular season, the midsummer season, where it really stands like as the peak of the year. Just like midday, noon is the peak of the day, while midsummer is the peak of the seasons of the year. And I heard something about the seasons that I, that I like. It was a discussion about, in Japanese aesthetics, they really appreciate the seasons. So they have so many things that bring out the seasons. And I've always enjoyed anything to do with the different times of day, different times of the year, as I have other videos going on about. Uh, and I heard it described in a new way for me that the advantage of this, the point of this, the value of focusing on things that are seasonal is that it simply helps us to appreciate the moment. So by focusing on the season it happens to be and maybe the time of day it happens to be as well, it's a reminder to just remember that we happen to be in a particular time and place. So this could be the same for any time of year, any, any time of day and any season of the year. Just anything that reminds us of that uh, helps us to get out of these kind of mental uh, holes, mental trains of thought where it's kind of this timeless place, almost like a cave. You know, a cave really has that timelessness because when you're in a cave, uh, it's absolutely the same at any time of day or year. So that the metaphor of the cave really brings out the complete isolation from any of these cycles of day and year. But by remembering the, the day or the time of day and the time of year, uh, then we can uh, just get that little bit of a nudge, a uh, little bit of a, maybe it's a shock, maybe it's a reminder that, wow, I'm here in this particular moment and not necessarily in some kind of generic time that, you know, timeless, that uh, my thoughts could go on forever, uh, but I actually just happen to be in this place and time in this moment. And that I find to be very helpful. Um, so what better way than by simply being outside? The weather itself will uh, teach us this lesson very clearly. I was about to record this uh, sitting in a room like the last video, but I couldn't bring myself to uh, record there because the only way to really uh, do this would be to actually get out here where I can see what it's like to have this particular day and season. Middle of the day, middle of the year, this kind of peak season, this is something that can be appreciated out here where we see the green, we see the sunlight and the green, and we see the park, the forest happening right now. So there can be all kinds of different ways we can bring in the seasonality, the way we 
emphasize different times of day and different times of year. Uh, but the simplest way of all is simply to get outside and simply to note uh, what's happening, where we are on those cycles. And you can look at least if you have morning, day, evening, night, and you have spring, summer, fall, winter, already there's four times of day, four seasons. Combine that's already 16 different combinations. Each of those combinations has its unique flavor to it. And of course we take the 24 hours and 12 months of the year, each of those has its own flavor. They can have almost 300 different flavors of moment and we keep moving through. So I hope you enjoy this particular season and uh, hope you find something to notice about each of these times of day and times of the year that brings a simple reminder that life is happening in this very moment and so don't get uh, stuck in any kind of thinking uh, holes or uh, on trains of thought leading far away. We can simply note the nature and the light and the colors and the life that's happening around us to return to the simple moment.